So this is the uh, walk around of the Super Dream diesel um, on here. So it's got a uh, 500 twin Z482 Kubota engine in it, 180 degree 500 twin. We've got a little turbocharger on it. We've got an intercooler here and we've got a cooling radiator here um, for that. Uh, we've got a six-speed gearbox, which is the original gearbox of the bike, actually, the Super Dream bike. And I, what I've done is I, I've uh, sealed off the gearbox, removed the petrol engine, and then mated the diesel onto that. And we drive via a to tooth belt, 30 mil wide tooth belt. This is Mark 7. Um, I built 10 in total, and so there's a few differences between this and my other ones. But anyway, this is number 7 on there. Um, the exhaust, although it looks it's going to be really noisy, isn't because of course the turbocharger takes the noise out of it. So it's not not unreasonably noisy on that. Um, everything else is pretty standard on there. Good thing is about it, excellent on fuel. Do 120 to the gallon, easy. Um, and uh, top speed, uh, you, if you lie on the tank with your underpants on and, and, and dream, you probably get 70 out of it, but it's happy punching on at 60, 65, quite happily on that. I did put a rev counter on it. Um, but I actually double it up because otherwise it doesn't move much because of course the engine maxes out at 3000 rpm so it was hardly moving so there you go it is auto start so on there so that when we turn that on there you automatically get the preheat light and the oil light on there and it starts the button it also stops on the key uh, which is unusual for diesels a gauge is wise you've got a temperature gauge for the engine temperature and you've got a turbo boost gauge stuck on the side there although I'm not sure that the gauge is that necessary on there. Um, starting everything else just to preheat it on there. There you go. Righty wise, what's it like? Well, it's a bit like, uh, an, uh, if you've ever driven Arctic, it's like that. Um, so you uh, got limited power, huge amount of torque being compression ignition engine. And once you get it rolling, your six speed means you always keep the engine at its maximum torque. And so when you come to hills, I mean, you just click it up through the gears. Uh, quite nice to ride because of course, a little turbocharger here has a little whine you can hear and, and it winds itself away, um, as you can hear. So it's quite fun. It, it is one of the joyous things about it. Um, very, very reliable. Um, on this side, you've also got a monster alternator, which was the one fitted by the Kubota, so you've got about 30 amp alternator, so it's got plenty. But it's also got to have a huge battery under the seat. We've got something like a, a 24 amp hour battery to turn the thing over, because it's very heavy, to turn over very heavy on current. Um, you oil filter there uh, for that. Diesel filters underneath the bike there, just poking down there, you've got a diesel filter on that. Gravity feed system. The front pump, this one pump here is used for pressurizing the oil to the gearbox. The gearbox is a forced lube system on there. Um, there you go. Well, well I've done, done about 3,000 miles on it, I suppose, and uh, no problems. Filled full of spiders. It's been in storage for the last uh, three years. I was dreaming of using it, uh, doing something with it, but I haven't. Paint-wise, a bit tatty, but it's got the look. I put brand new tyres on it. Um, not sure they improve the handling, but it's certainly uh, less slippy off-road, I must admit, and uh, it does grip quite well in the mud. Uh, but there you go. Anyway. Hope that's useful.